So, what I've learned in the holy temple of the oracles, otherwise known as mental health, and behavioral health services, as well as the holiest temples in the state of California, Napa, El Tascadero, there might be a few others, is that they prefer involuntary bodily functions, uh, medicine, treatment. So what they've given me is we're at, it's the onset of together. I'm pretty good at figuring things out. So it looks like it's an unfortunate fate, but it's what it is because I'm smarter than all of them. They tried to give me schizophrenia, delusions, bipolarity, um, mentally, well, see, not orically speaking, mentally health speaking. They double, but they, they also have a difference. Um, so they prefer involuntary. So what they've given me is a narcolepsy. So if my research shows that it progressively gets worse um, to the point where you can't function. Um, you just So it's involuntary sleep. So they prefer methods and medicine that it's mentally healthy, though. This is good for you. So it'll be involuntary sleep. That's narcolepsy. You just can't stay awake. Um, now, if you have a physical appearance, defend yourself, or report crimes, otherwise known as delusions, um, you will be treated involuntarily with medicine. But that's part of earning your right to have your crime that you reported documented. Um, so neurodegeneration and narcolepsy will eventually lead to Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, the, well, just for the sure fact that you're also not exercising your brain as much, you're just... Half your day is just slunched over doing nothing or sleeping. Um, but this is good. This is mentally healthy. This comes out of the San Joaquin County Oracle Temples and from their holy oracles. Um, now they've blessed me with my mental health rights. I have some of them. And they have given me their enchanted chemicals. Um, and these instill the rights that I have into me for certain. It's in my body, so it, must, it probably attaches to my genetics. And what this does is it sends out... You know, all humans have a receptor for people that have rights. So what this does is the enchanted chemicals run through my body, and they become a source of emission. And anytime a law enforcement officer or a holy oracle is near me, um, the receptors go off, and then they also know, not just on documentation, that they can feel it and sense that this guy has full mental health rights and federal rights. Um, and the, the, the experienced ones know that's a result of the enchanted chemicals and concoctions that we involuntarily injected him with. Some take it voluntarily. They just want to be known by the receivers. Um... But remember, when it comes to the holy temples and the oracles, it is involuntary and that they prefer. And um, these things are good for you. So right now, I'm going narcoleptic. I have been for a while, but it, it's, I, I think it's... I experienced myself, so I'd know. I think it's progressively becoming worse. And I don't know if it's uh, reversible. So... According to my research, that would be my conclusion. Narcolepsy is a neurodegenerative disease, which means it destroys your your brain, too, um, in a number of different ways. So the sleep deprivation itself is bad for your body and the brain, um, but it's good for mental health. It's good for... Holy Oracles prescribe this and allow this to happen with the Sheriff's Department, then it's good for your mental health. You just have to trust in them. So... Because you can't do 
you can't function for half the day or a fourth of the day. You lose your ability to exercise your brain and learn. Um, and that causes a neurodegeneration in itself, um, but the attack on the central nervous system also damages the, uh, the brain's ability to think, um, process, everything that's going on, and then stay awake, of course, well, then you have a lowered sense of awareness. So... But this, as documented, is mentally healthy, and it's what the Holy Oracles in San Joaquin County, and who work at 1212 BHS with um, their Oracle apprentices and Oracle assistances. We have assistants and we have apprentices. So apprentices are like specialists or psychologists, almost making it up to psychiatric level. And then we have the assistants, like Shauna. They just work in the offices and they um, ensure that the plans for the citizens um, are healthily, um, as it pertains to mental health, executed against whoever it is that the next civilian in the population is who is determined to require mental health treatment. Um, I'm learning about the temples of the Holy Oracles and their differences and similarities with federal crime. And because of my, I guess, my Asperger's and my autism, I'm trying to draw them together and find sameness. So I'm giving you the interpretation. Um, schizophrenia is your freedom of, of expression through your physical appearance. Delusions, your right to and document and record it, to report a crime. Um, and... Uh, free speech, um, that goes down as 5250, which eventually might become 5150. It's a hold, and then you take medicine for it so you can earn it. Um, and it's just this new thing that we do. It's so uh, it's the country of America. And then privacy disorder or behavior, excuse me, antisocial is your privacy. Um, and then there's a whole, there's a lot of other things too. And bipolarity is for defending yourself or so that you can say you have emotions. So, I mean, it, it endows you with all of your full human qualities, and then you, you're, you're blessed with those rights, and then you're given the option, and sometimes it's involuntary, to take the enchanted chemicals and liquids, or pills. So, I'm just... I, as I, you know, I think about things, I meditate on them, and as I figure them out, I make updates. So I'll continue to understand this and figure out the mental health field and comprehend how the holy oracles are transcribing and um, correlating to and with, uh, you know, your, your, your federal civil liberty so that I can bring them together and not have to separate them anymore.